How can you generate missing tests automatically with Playwright? Have you seen the posts on automating Postman API responses using AI? And what is the new feature that Cypress just released? Find out all about it in this episode of the Test Skill News Show for the week of June 8th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. Hey, before we get into the news, I want to thank this week's sponsor, ZapTest AI, an AI-driven platform that can help you supercharge your automation efforts. It's really cool because their intelligent co-pilot generates optimized code snippets, while their planned studio can help you effortlessly streamline your test case management. And what's even better is you can experience the power of AI in action with their risk-free six-month proof of concept, featuring a dedicated Zap expert at no upfront costs. Unlock unparalleled efficiency and ROI in your testing process. Don't wait. Schedule your demo now and see how it can help you improve your test automation efforts using the link down below. All right, first up is all about Playwright. And, and this is by Debbie O'Brien, who announced on LinkedIn how she just published a walkthrough demonstrating how testers can use the Playwright MCP server in tandem with AI-based prompting to automatically generate missing end-to-end -end tests. And the video highlights how rather than relying on predefined assumptions, the MCP server interacts with the application in real time to identify untested paths. AI then reviews the current test coverage. And the video highlights the process, which includes the automated detection of test gaps by simulating user behavior, prompt-based directives for generating playwright code aligned with best practices, test maintenance suggestions like identifying duplicate tests or redundant navigation checks, and a whole bunch more. And also Debbie also emphasized the importance of crafting a detailed prompt file and using human oversight to refine AI outputs. So it definitely seems like a really cool use of AI and Playwright and MCP server. And you can watch the whole video for yourself using the special link down below. Next up is the webinar of the week. So here at the Test Guild, we're running a joint webinar with Blink.io all about how QA leaders in banking can use Gen AI for testing without compromising security, compliance, or stability. So this webinar happening this Wednesday is aimed at QA leaders in the financial sector, focusing on the strategic use of generative AI in software testing. And the session is going to explore how banking organizations can adopt Gen AI-powered testing solutions while maintaining strict security protocols, regulatory compliance, and operational stability. And the webinar is going to address concerns specific to highly regulated industries where the adoption of AI can raise red flags around data governance, model explainability, the risk of unauthorized behavior by AI systems. And as always, Blink.io is going to share some real-world case studies and provide practical guidance on aligning AI-based testing with enterprise risk frameworks. So make sure to register, even if you can't make the event, make sure to register because everyone that registers is going to receive a recording of the session in a few days after the webinar is over. And you can register now using that special link down below. All right, did you do anything with Kafka? If so, here's a great announcement. This was announced on Kanika's LinkedIn profile, how LoadMill has just open sourced their Kafka Relay client and released it on GitHub. And what's really cool is this tool addresses the growing demand for more sophisticated event-driven architectures among software testers by allowing testers to simulate Kafka message streams effortlessly. So Kafka, widely used for real-time data pipelines and streaming applications, now has a new companion in the Load Mill Kafka Relay, which simplifies the generation and control of test traffic across distributed systems. It provides a set of APIs to interact with the Kafka brokers manage message production, consumption, and schema registry operations. And it was built to help you test your Kafka infrastructure and applications and to make it easier to debug and troubleshoot Kafka-related issues. Also on LinkedIn, I came across this post by Roberto, who announced that Cypress has announced early access to a new feature called SciPrompt. So they describe it as the easiest way to write and maintain Cypress tests using AI plus natural language prompts. And they also claim that this new feature allows you to write Cypress tests 10x faster with their AI-powered prompts. And also CI Prompt adopts to your app changes, reducing false failures and keeping tests stable. And the early access program for CI Prompt is currently open for testers seeking to integrate this feature into their workflows. And they have a link where you can register for it as well for the early access. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. I also found another really cool use of AI on LinkedIn. It was a post by Dylan who just announced a new Medium post that he created that details how testers can streamline 
API response comparisons by utilizing Postman along with the Hugging Face AI. So this post goes over the technique leveraging Postman's robust API testing capabilities combined with machine learning models from Hugging Face to automate the process of evaluating API responses. And the integration aims to improve efficiency and accuracy in validating API data, addressing a common challenge in software testing, and it outlines a method that testers can follow to employ Hugging Face's advanced natural language processing models to assess semantic equivalence in API responses. And this approach provides a sophisticated layer of analysis that goes beyond simple data matching, allowing for more nuanced comparisons. What's the Cypress Schema Validator plugin? Well, let's find out. So this is by Sebastian, a frequent contributor on the news show that he just released the Cypress Schema Validator plugin that brings several functional upgrades, the schema validation and Cypress-based test automation. And this plugin is the successor to the previously known Cypress AJV Schema Validator, now offering support for both AJV and ZOD validators. Among it, notable features are terminally friendly error messages, customizable styling for validation feedback, and unifying error format designed to simplify debugging and testing reports. This tool maintains full backward capabilities for earlier versions and allows teams to upgrade without reworking existing tests. Have you seen the latest Dora report? If not, this is something you definitely should check out. This recent publication from the DevOps Research and Assessment Dora team reveals critical insights into the impact of continuous delivery practices on software development performance. And the research based on survey data from thousands of developers find that while, while AI adoption increases individual productivity by approximately 2.1% per 25% increase in usage, it simultaneously reduces software delivery stability by 7.2% and throughput by 1.5%. And the study suggests that this paradox stems from developers creating large code changes when using AI tools, violating established principles of small batch development. And it goes over the study found that only 61% of developers actually trust AI generated code quality with trust levels directly correlating to productivity gains. And I think this just highlights what a lot of testers have been saying all along with all this code being generating, it's becoming more and more and more code. What do you need to do? You need to test it. So testers should prepare for potentially larger, more complex code changes that are going to require enhanced verification processes. Do I know more about synthetic monitoring? Well, this next post talks about how to optimize your end user experience and how to perform a browser check in Grafana Cloud's synthetic monitoring. So Grafana just made this recent enhancement to optimize end user experience through improved browser testing capabilities. And this enhancement enables developers and software testers to conduct browser checks directly via Grafana Cloud, allowing you basically to simulate real user interactions and monitor the performance and help of a web application more effectively. And this feature supports multiple browser types, provides extensive coverage for testing conditions, and integrates seamlessly with existing Grafana monitoring tools that then enables you to give more comprehensive performance analysis alongside other system metrics. All right, last up is security news and Srini and Sai have done it again. They just released another new open source tool. This one is called Secure Hulk which is aimed to help DevSecOps teams detect and mitigate security vulnerabilities in their MCP servers and tools. So Secure Hulk is designed to scan for several highly risk threats commonly associated with AI-driven systems, including prompt ejection and tool poisoning, data exfiltration and privilege escalation, and toxic agent behavior flows and cross-origin attacks. All right, and for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to the links in the comment down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.